assalamu alaikum students i welcome you all to social studies class today we are going to be learning an interesting topic for that i want you all to open your social studies book so this is your social studies book the cover of the book is having the title of the book that is new oxford social studies for pakistan grade 2 and this is the fourth edition the topic that we are going to learn today is directions and that is the 10th topic in your book and the page number is 50 before moving forward let's quickly have a look at the objectives for today's class we are having two main objectives the first one is to learn about directions cardinal directions compass and map and the second objective is to improve reading skills and i hope that in today's class we will be able to attain these objectives so students do you have any idea then why do we use directions okay let me tell you that we use directions when we want to tell the placement or position of any object or person isn't it so whenever we want to tell the placement or position of any object or person we use directions and you know what we do that all the time in school and at home whenever someone asks us about the position or placement of something so we use directions okay so the most commonly used directions are left and right and here are two arrows that are pointing towards left and right apart from left and right we also use in front of and behind very commonly here is a picture of two mice and they are standing at different places near the box In the first picture the mouse is standing in front of the box whereas in the second picture the mouse is standing behind the box I hope you have got the idea of in front of and behind But students sometimes these commonly used directions can create a confusion when people are standing in an opposite direction their left right changes Just for example have a look at this In this room there are two girls Aisha and Sana and along with that there is a table So if we will ask the placement of table from Sana she is going to say that the table is on her left However if we are going to ask Aisha about the placement of the table she is going to say the table is on my right So you see the confusion has been created. So to facilitate in such conditions we have cardinal directions. And these are special directions that remain same no matter what is your placement. So there are four cardinal directions that are north, south, east and west. So how many cardinal directions are there? Four: north, south, east, and west. Okay, now let's look at the placement of these directions. So in this picture, we can see the four cardinal directions: north, south, east, and west, written in short form with capital letters. We are having N for north, S for south, E for east, and W for west Okay so to remember the placement of these directions I have a small chant for you and that is north is up south is down east is to my right side and west is to my left side Isn't it easy Let's do it once again North is up south is down east is to my right side and west is to my left side and you know what students the sun always rises in the east and sets in the west you know what students 
If you know the direction of sunrise, you can easily tell the other three directions. And if we don't know the direction of sunrise, we can use a tool that can help us in finding the direction. And that tool is called a compass. So a compass is a tool that is used for finding directions. So here is a picture of one. And there is a big needle in the middle. And this big needle is made up of magnet and that helps us in getting to know the directions. It is round in shape and has a big needle or a pointer in the middle that points towards the direction. Now let's learn about map. Map is used to show where things or places are. It is drawn on a flat surface and is basically a drawing that shows places. Just like in Dora the Explorer, Dora takes the map on her adventures and that map helps her in finding different places. Here is a map of Pakistan that is showing the provinces. We can see Punjab, Sindh, Baluchistan, KPK and along with that Fata and Gilgit Baltistan can also be seen. I hope you all have learned about directions, the cardinal directions, compass and map. Now let's start the reading. I want you all to open page number 50. So on the top we can see the title that is directions. Okay, now let's start the reading. Here are some questions you hear all the time. Where did you put the book? Where do you live? How do I get to the station from here? Is the shop in front of your house or behind it? To answer these questions, you need to know certain words. We have to use the correct words to give direction. You all must have experienced these questions when someone is asking you about the direction of some place or thing or even person, you use the words directions to answer them. So here we are having two pictures. In the first picture, we can see a bookshelf and in the other picture, we can see a bench in different directions have been marked like top bottom, behind, above, below, in front of. Okay, let's move forward. Now here we are having the cardinal directions. Can you see that? North, south, east and west. They have labeled that. And on the other hand, we can see two arrows that are pointing right and left. Sometimes we use special words. These words are north, south, east and west. Okay, the next page everyone. We show the direction on a map like this. The sun always rises in the east and sets in the west. If you face the rising sun in the morning, the north is on your left and the south is on your right. So can you see the little boy in the picture? He is standing in a position facing towards the sun. And as I told you before that the sun always rises in the east. So if we are standing facing towards the sunrise, then north is on our left and south is on our right. Is that clear to everyone? Okay, let's move forward. A compass is used to show directions. The pointer is a magnet. It always points to the north. Look at this map. Which country is north of Pakistan? So we can see a map of Pakistan over here. So can you all see what is to the north? And do you remember the placement of north? Where is that? Do you remember the chant? That was north is a... South is down, east is to my right side and west is to my left side. So quickly have a look at what is on the top. That is China. I hope you enjoyed the reading. 
Now I have a small activity for you that you can do at home with your brothers and sisters. For that, all you have to do is that you have to hide any five toys or things in different directions and you will instruct the other partner, it can be your brother or sister, to about the placement of those things and toys and the other one have to find them. Once she, he or she has found them, you have to ask the other child to hide things and you will find those things with the help of the instruction given by the child. Now this activity will help you in practicing the different directions. I hope you enjoyed today's class. I will catch you soon. Till then, Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum.